met her mom and her sister, Asia. And her sister actually was like texting me one day and was like, if you love CJ like you say you do, you would tat her name on you. So I ended up tatting her name on my chest. And then I called her and sent her the picture while we were on the phone. And oh. I'm like. You tattooed a girl's name on your chest that you'd never met, mm -hmm. never FaceTimed with, mm -hmm. and didn't even know it was real. Yes. I was in love with her, you know? Hi, Neve and Cammie. My name is Adam. I live out in Lansing, Michigan, and I don't have much experience with online dating. But six months ago, I'd been feeling pretty lonely. I went on Meet Me and found an amazing woman named Mercy. Have mercy, please. She's from Torrance, California, and depending on the outcome of your investigation, she could be the love of my life. Wow. Mercy is beautiful and kind, and she seems to be really into me. I have to admit that I'm not really used to that. I'm a big guy, and from what I've experienced, most people are only into looks. But Mercy told me I was exactly her type. We texted for hours every day. By the end of the summer, we were talking kids and marriage. I love Mercy, and I want to be with her. But there were some things that had been giving me doubts. In August, Mercy said we could video chat. But when we did, there was a weird glare, like someone was filming a screen. Oh, no. If she's not the woman in the photos, I can get past that. I understand not being confident about your looks, but I need to know who I'm really talking to. Is she like me, looking for love, but afraid to trust that someone's going to love them back? Or is this some sort of trick? I could really use your help getting through it. Sincerely, Adam. Hey! Hey! What is up? I can't believe you guys are talking to me. <laughs> Mercy. How did that happen? Did you swipe on her? Yeah. And she responded, like, immediately. And we got to talking, and then talking every day since. And is that, like, on the phone or via text? Via text. What's Mercy's deal? She lives in California. She's from Torrance, California. Uh, she moved here from Italy uh, when she was 19. What parts of her story do you believe and what parts of her story do you not believe? I mean, I believe she is the person in the photographs. Every morning, she sends me a picture blowing me a kiss. I literally have like 50, 60 photos of her. And are they pictures like can't like regular everyday pictures or are they like? Yeah, they look like, you know, uh, lounging in the house. How serious is your relationship at this point? Honestly, I think she could be the one. I even went to so much as to get a ring. A ring? Wow. A, a ring. Do you have the receipt? I did. <laughs> I was that smart. <sighs> the waiting. Did she flake out or what? Hi. Hello. Hello. What's uh, What's your name? I'm Frank. Frank. Yeah. Yes. Hello, Frank. The connection's a little weird. Are you Mercy? Yep. Okay. And where do you live? I live in Africa. Wow. Oh, man. Where? Africa's a big place. I live in Okay. Was anything you told me, Cher? Was there any part of the story that you told me that was true? No. All the story I told you was a lie. I mean, is this something you just do there for fun, or 
Like, why do you do this? Why do you catfish people? The reason why I catfish people is because I'm not financially stable and that's what I do to feed my family. What makes you think that I don't have problems? I get eight, nine hundred dollars a month. That's all I have to live on. I barely pays for living here. But you want some of that money. And me, being the person I am, trusting you, even loving you, was willing to do that. Do you have a family? No, I have a girlfriend. One boy, only one boy, is three years old. But we live together. But I'm not married yet. Does your girlfriend know that you are a catfish, that you lie to people? I pray to God that you give me a better job so maybe I can stop this for, I can stop this and get a better job. You have to stop calling this a job because this is not a job that you're doing. It's wrong. Like, I see you sitting there and you're smiling. Like, what, what makes you smile about this? I mean, you're tugging at people's heartstrings, expecting them to feel sorry for you but you don't feel sorry for anybody else. I'm so sorry. You say you're sorry, but I see you smiling. Like that's not really empathetic to me. I'm very sorry, Adam, I'm very sorry. Come on. I was serious about Mercy. So serious that I went out and I spent money I didn't have on a wedding ring. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm even surprised that I bought the ring. But all I can say is that I'm very sorry. I know it, it really hurts. Also, I just got a friend that I need a job, so he helped me get that fishing. And people, they do it just maybe they don't have money like me. But I'm just hoping maybe if I have a better job, I can just quit this job because I know it's not good. It's going to break a lot of people's hearts. I know it's not good. I'm very sorry and I really apologize. Honestly, I just, I don't know. You said you're going out with somebody right now, right? Are, are you planning on marrying her? Yes, I, yes, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm planning to get married to her. Well, now she's got a wedding ring. This ring. ring was meant for love. I'm gonna mail you the ring and you can have it. Thank you. God bless you so much. Adam, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me, okay? I do, Frank. I do. All right. Thank you. God bless you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you are here with me and you are not upset and you are not mad at me. God bless I'm you I'm definitely so much. upset, even a little mad at you. But I'm not mad that you're trying to feed your family. I forgive you for it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, Nee, this is Adonis. Adonis. I wanted to reach out to you on behalf of my brother, Dejan. I feel like I'm stable. Why I'm always stable? He's been talking for like a couple years with this girl named Kashe. He swears she, he's in love with her. See, there's no one like you. It's not an obsession. I just need to find you. But she doesn't show her face on video. Whenever he tries to go on a date or try to reach out, probably go see a movie or so, she always sends love. I feel like she's a catfish, but she doesn't want to see it. And I just don't want to see her. Can you hear me out? Hey. Hey. How are you guys? Uh, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you. Guys. What's up? Good to see you. So tell us about yourself. Yeah. Um, I got uh, custody of all three of my kids and they, my world. Were you married or are you just together? Engaged. And then I broke up out the relationship. So I tried to, the new stuff, the internet. Then um, Kashe uh, got in my inbox and I was looking at her pictures. I inboxed her back. We started texting. And from there, it was like firecrackers. Like, she just got the purest soul. She is an independent woman, work, take care of herself. And then I asked, like, can we meet up? But when I got there, 
you know, like 10 minutes later, I got the text, oh, I, I can't come. They called her in to work or something. It's like, I didn't heard so many, like, excuses. How many times have you tried to meet? About eight times. Wow. It seemed like she's nervous. You can be shy, but if you can talk to me over the phone, or you can talk to me that same way in person. But even if you're shy, that's no excuse to bail like eight times. And we in the same neck of the woods. Yeah. Hello. So what the hell you got us all the way out here for? Uh, I actually would like to just show you. Just let's see. Come on. I'm what? more invested than I actually okay. led you to believe. <gasps> Hello. Hello. How you doing, Cecilia? You... Um, I would like to show uh, them the ring I have. So. Wait. Uh, hi. 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 <laughs> so if. Things were oh going God. to, as planned, I was going to ask her for a hand in marriage. <gasps> Can I try it on? Wait, so do you bought this? Yeah, I've been paying on it for a while. Well, this <laughs> is a mighty nice stone, sir. I, I fell for her. This is madness. There's a lot on the line now. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Do you want to come down and say hello? So you're a cache. That's, that's crazy. Thank you for agreeing to meet us. Just to be very clear, you've been talking to Dejan? Yeah. What's your name? My real name is Jave. <laughs> all right. Whoa. Are you all right? Yes, I'm OK. It's overwhelming. Yeah. 21 months down the drain, I didn't know who you were. We got a whole bunch of questions. I didn't even, like, this is not intentional. Like, it just happened, I guess. In the beginning, it was a game. I was fishing one day on POF, and some type of way, he just got hooked. Mm. It wasn't necessarily you I was fishing for. It just happened. And, like, over the, the years, you know, we just grown to be close, I guess, you know? You had me believing in a, uh, uh, in a whole nother woman. No, I had you looking at a whole nother woman. But the, the woman that you talk to every day is me. When did you first start making a fake profile? I've been fishing since before catfish was really catfish. Like the chat lines, the phone chat lines and stuff like that. It was like an outlet. How many profiles have you had? Ain't no telling. I was so caught up in cache that, like, a couple months ago, went and purchased a engagement ring. I was that serious. Because you guys talked about starting a life together. Yeah. Forked over a lot of money for that damn ring, thinking that I found my one. Dear Neva Max, my name is Kiara. I'm 21 and I'm currently in Virginia Beach. I need your help tracking down my online girlfriend, Courtney. In December of 2016, I was moving to Virginia Beach when I came across Courtney on Plenty of Fish. I hit her up because she lived in that area. We exchanged numbers and started talking right away. Once I settled into Virginia Beach, I thought Courtney and I would link up, but there were always excuses. Courtney's in the Navy. Sometimes she'd be out of town or she'd be busy with her seven-year-old son, but we still would text or talk on the phone every day. We fell in love. We were so committed that we talked about having a baby, and then even went through a surrogate. Now that the baby is here, 
What? They got Whoa. a surrogate to carry who's the baby? baby? I don't know who gave the egg. I want to be excited and happy, but Courtney has not let me see him. Just when you thought you've seen it all. Too many questions. They have a baby together they've never met. We got to call her. Hey. What's up? We just read your email. We have a lot of questions. Okay. Yeah, let me just get ready for this. Hold on. We're very curious how this child that's yours and hers came to pass. What What's the story there? She did not want to take the time off and be pregnant. Neither did I. So we decided that let's have a surrogate. So I would send her money every time I got paid. But she did everything on her own without even me knowing. And I just found out about the baby two weeks after he was born. I don't even know what the baby looks like. Wait, baby hold on. Yourself. What do you mean you don't know what the baby looks like? You haven't seen a picture? No. So you don't even necessarily there's know that there no, is a baby. There's no baby. There is a baby because when I talk to her on the phone, I hear the baby in the background. I really think she meant for it to be a surprise. Surprise, here's the baby that we talked about. You weren't there for its birth. I was a little mad about that. A little? How have you not seen a picture? Well, she said that her camera is broken. Oh, come on. This is insane. This is insane. We are trying to figure out what could be going on here. And apologies if we come across as a little cynical or insensitive. It's just such a crazy story. It's a crazy story. It does look sketchy, but I'm a mom now, so what do I look like just leaving? I can't just walk away from right. a situation. And that's more of a reason why I really reached out to you guys, because now a baby is involved. And I just don't think that that's just something I can just brush off like that. You need to relieve yourself of the pressure that like you're now responsible for some child's life. You're not. If it's true that she went ahead and had some kid born behind your back, that's so far removed from what actual parenting should look like that I don't think you've been given an, an opportunity to even be a parent yet. I get what you're saying, but I just don't believe that there's not a baby. There might be a baby. I'm not saying there isn't a kid. Neve is saying that you weren't included. In fact, you were excluded in a very deceitful, mean way, I think. Therefore, you are like you are off the hook. I disagree. She makes me feel included, even though I haven't seen him yet. I've already put my time, money, love, and affection into this relationship. How much money have you put into this? Like a thousand. Uh oh, here goes. So go. This is uh, Brittany, Courtney's Thank you. sister. So this whole time it was you. I'm sorry. I just... No baby. I mean, I don't have a baby. So no. the baby in the background. The... It's my sister's. My feelings are genuine. I mean, I just look different. I don't. So what was the point of using your sister, like? You weren't going to be interested in me. I mean. Well, you don't know that. But you, right, you don't know that. I'm sorry. I mean, sorry I mean, is not can, really cutting I it. Like, I spent that, my but... money, time, energy. We had so many plans, and all you have is, I'm sorry. We can still have those plans. I just look different. I mean. Yeah, I know, but the, the real issue here is not that you use pictures of your sister. It's the baby. <sighs> You made me feel like I had a whole child. But I thought that I had somebody that I can love and will love me unconditionally. And now I'm just not a mom anymore. Like, you took a feeling of a baby away from me. And it's not OK. Are you doing this to other girls, too? No. Are you receiving money from other girls? No. Are you talking this to is other my girls? First time I ever, this is the first time I ever did something like this. I'm not even this type of person. Kier, I don't want to be. I don't want to look like an but it seems like that's what I'm looking like right now. I made some bad decisions, but I want to work through it. Work Obviously. through? How about you work about giving my money back? That's, well, that's not a, start. Uh, that's, a pro that's not a problem, I mean. So if it's not a problem, why did you take my money in the beginning? I mean, I got my car fixed now. Wait a second. So the, the inspiration for starting a, a baby fund was not to ever actually start a fund for having a baby. It was because you needed money to fix your car. Yes. OK. That's just so low down, Brittany, seriously.
at some point you fixed your car, so you could have stopped or come clean or just, I don't know, ghosted. He really made me feel like I was a mom. He really put a lot of obligation and responsibility on me. Like, do you not see a problem with that at all? I do, Kier, I do. I, I can't tell. It shows a pattern that, like, you understood that she was vulnerable and you took advantage of that. And that, I, that... I admit, maybe, maybe I did at some point take advantage of her. I, I can admit that. I wasn't trying to be malicious or anything like that. I just got too deep to turn back. But, like, I'm really in love with you, and that's my honest feelings. I, I, I'm really sorry, though. I want you to know that I'm really sorry. We got something in the old inbox. Hey, Neve and Tallulah. My name is Shay. Do you remember when... I'm 25 years old, and I'm from Pompano Beach, Florida. Eight years ago, I met a girl on Facebook named CJ. Do you remember when we used to have it all? I could not love you more. It was not long ago. This was a whirlwind teenage romance that had more ups and downs than a roller coaster. I know you help people who are in love. Well, we were in love. We came to a crossing road, and I gave up your hand. So in love that we decided to have a baby together. So wait a second. Are they, I'm unclear, are they met? Like... I don't know, hold on. But it all went downhill from there. So much bad stuff happened. I had to end it. I had to leave. I had to go. Before we both lose all control. Oh. But now things have gotten crazier, and I owe it to myself to know what happened here. There's so much to tell you, but if I wrote it all out, it would be a 15-page letter. Long story short, she never truly goes away, and I'm always looking over my shoulder. I need to move on and feel safe. Please, please help me. Shay. So give me the whole, just just give the me the whole story. Okay. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Yeah. Okay, so um, basically I met CJ on Facebook in like 2014. Yeah, eight years is a long time. Yeah. She was like messaging me a few times, like, hey, you're pretty. So I was like, oh, she's really pretty. Then we moved on to exchanging numbers. After that, we talked on the phone like the following day when I was leaving school. Oh, that all went pretty quick. Yeah, and we instantly just connected. Where is she from? Georgia. Okay. So I met her family about three months into the relationship. Online, not in person. Yes, online. Okay. I met her mom and her sister, Asia. And her sister actually was like texting me one day and was like, if you love CJ like you say you do, you would tat her name on you. So. I ended up tatting her name on my chest. And then I called her and sent her the picture while we were on the phone. And oh. I'm like... You tattooed a girl's name on your chest that you'd never met, mm -hmm. never FaceTimed with, mm -hmm. and didn't even know it was real? Yes. I was in love with her, you know? But why would you even listen to the sister? I was worried that, like, she would tell her all these things and then, you know, me and her would break up. Is it still there? Well, I covered it about two years ago. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. OK, so keep going. Yeah. So still within that first year period, she sent a ring and asked me to marry her. And let me guess. You say yes. Yes. Like, I wore it like I was engaged. Like and you school. told your friends and family? Mm -hmm. That's insane! I know. Because we started making huge plans. Almost a year in, we decided to have a kid. So what was the plan? I had to, like, basically screen the guys. Like, one guy I met, I sent her a picture of me and him, and she would give approval. So this isn't like the online database for sperm donors. This was a live human man. She kept pushing the issue like, oh, you know, you need to meet up with him. And I would be like, I don't want to meet up with him. Wow. She knew when I ovulated. She actually had a tracker on her phone. She would be like, you need to go now because you're high in that fertility range. This is creepy. Did you talk to this guy and say, hey, I just want to let you know. This is the situation. I've got a girlfriend. I told him 
what the plan was, that I had a girlfriend and we were trying to plan a kid. Okay. So I met this one guy, um, we started hanging out, but because at that time, me and CJ weren't on good terms, she was like verbally abusive and mentally draining. So I kind of got romantically involved with him and the breaks of me and her. So you actually developed feelings for him, mm -hmm. even though he initially started just as a potential sort of sperm, sperm donor. man, pretty much. But then I still ended up getting pregnant. Wow. And then we basically didn't have a good relationship from there. He ended up leaving. And then CJ did step up and start sending me things for the baby. Like what? She sent me a car seat, baby bag, clothes. Oh, all right, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, but there was time about three months into the relationship when I was the one that was there for her, when she needed money. You sent her money? Yeah. At one point in time, I gave her my card, so she'll be like, oh, I'm ordering pizza. What? Your bank card? Yeah. And one day, I went to the store, and my card declined. I had zero dollars. And then when I called her and asked her about it, she said it was her sister, Asia, and that she was going to handle it. And I guess her and Asia apparently got into a fight. And she's never paid you back, I presume. Mm -mm. OK, so fast forward, and you have this baby. Mm -hmm. And me and her were still on and off. You know, we went talk for like three, four months, and sure. then she'll pop back out of the blue. But then I told her I was pregnant again. Wait a second, how did that happen? My, I guess you could say boyfriend. We ended up like getting back romantically involved. So you got back together with your baby daddy. Yes, and then CJ, he was upset. And when she's hurt, she tends to say hurtful things to me. Like tell me she hates me, call me names, um, threaten me. And after that, I completely cut her off. But once I cut her off, she stalked me for like over a year. What does that mean? Like for example, I had a POF and someone wrote me on POF named Britt. And then out of the blue, CJ wrote me on Britt's page. and was like, I had her reach out to you because oh I couldn't God. contact you. Okay, crazy. There was always like some way, somehow contacting me. It has affected me in like a lot of ways. I'm afraid to date online because it was multiple people. Oh my God. And then I got a message on IG a few weeks ago of her saying like, hey, I know it's been a few years, but I want to meet you. So after all these years, that's why you emailed us now. That's when you reached out to yeah. Catfish. I'm glad you did. This could be dangerous without us. I'll be right out. Oh, okay. CJ? Hello. How you doing? I'm good. All right. Come on over, C CJ or? CJ. All right, well. This is Tallulah. Obviously, Hi, Tallulah. you know Shay. You are and always have been CJ. Yes, sir. OK. Is CJ really your name? Because? No. Because I tatted CJ on me. It's just a nickname that I gave myself years ago. My name's Tay. So like with the family members, like with the Asia, is that really your sister or so like? So Asia is actually my cousin. Um, but my mom ended up adopting her when she was little. But she never spoke to Asia. Asia used to text her from your phone. Was that was her that or her was that, that just that you? Yeah, that, that wasn't me. We use each other's phones. That's what me and my family do. Boy, using someone's phone to text your friends is one thing. Using someone's phone and texting their girlfriend. I mean, that's the type of bond another. they had. Yeah, but also it wasn't just texting like, hey, what's up? It was like, Manipulating, blackmailing. Black so how, how did she manipulate and blackmail you? Well, wasn't it Asia who said you should get the tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, yeah, because when she surprised me with the tattoo, I was shocked. And there's no way I'm buying that. Right. Okay. That's not. There's no way you didn't know your cousin's sister had tried to convince her to get a tattoo with your yes. nickname yeah. that you made up for yourself. Um. I, Explain how that makes sense. I did not, that was not me. I don't know what you want me to say. Right, well, unfortunately, you're starting off to us mm -hmm. as a total liar. 
Okay, well, so, that's how so, you feel. Well, no, it's not how I feel. You lied to her. I did not lie to her. Never wanted her to get a tattoo. She surprised me with the tattoo. Well, here's a better question. Why did you consistently do unbelievably awful things to her? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was wrong. It was wrong for what I did. I, I really did love you. My feelings was real. It just like, when I saw you from my real page, I just knew you wasn't gonna talk to me. So the CJ page was created specifically to contact Shay. So when you playing the kid, and I did all those things. Okay, so I felt like me playing the kid with you was gonna be my motivation to come out and tell you the truth. Because you're right, you can't play the kid with somebody and just erase it away. That's why when you told me you didn't know how you was gonna afford things, I did my best to do that for you and the baby. I made it happen. Car seat, clothes, all that. Because I felt like it was my, my responsibility too. But you came out and told me you didn't want me to be a part of your child's life because you didn't want your daughter confused and you felt like her real father was supposed to be a part of her life. It hurted me, you know, it hurted me bad, but I still did things for that baby, regardless how heartbroken I was. I mean, the reason why I felt like the father should be there was because my first daughter was not born when I was with you. If you add it up, you was a month pregnant. We only been broken up for a month. So technically, yeah, you did cheat on me. Wait a second. You're upset because you feel like she cheated on you with that guy? I ain't no feel like she did. And I have already stated, like, yes, I was wrong for lying to you about my identity. It ain't no excuses for that. And, and, and I regret what I did. But I really did love you. You f around the whole relationship. How the was how the We went not together, though. So you right, yeah, we broke was. up like three months, six months. You, you're trying to make it seem like she's right. consistent. Why would you get in a long distance relationship knowing you can't be committed, bro? You have commitment That's issues. That's not the point. You have commitment issues. You know what, I don't want to talk no more because she's not even being Hold on a it. second, hold on a second. Okay, please come back here. No, cause... I'm not coming back. Well, well let this If she's is... not going to be honest, there's no sense of me seeing her being honest. You don't get to be upset if she's I not being get a honest chance because to be. you've yes, been I so do. dishonest. We both got hurt so in this situation. Long. You don't know how I felt. You don't know what I went through. Did you take money out of her bank account? Yeah, and I blamed it on my sister because I didn't want to hurt her. Even right, though, just like you, want to just hurt like her you blame the tattoo thing on your sister. No! You put me through a you lot. You never took responsibility for, for what you done. You always point the, the blame at me. Be honest. You never went apologize. You never went felt bad about what you did to me. She cheated, not just one knee. We weren't together not just when one. these things Shay, happened. Stop lying! First lie, bro. Right you're Hold lying, on that's second. all to it, bro. Hold on you ain't never been able to keep your legs closed. <laughs> Wait, Shay, hold on. Wait, my time.